welcome. Today guys I want to share with you all my recipe for a sorrel jelly. Now to make this recipe I'm using dehydrated sorrel petals but if you can get fresh sorrel you can use that. Remember you need to take the seeds out. So here I have the sorrel petals. I'm just gonna set that aside. In a pot I'm gonna add in three cups of water. To the water I'm gonna add in the sorrel petals, a small piece of ginger, some allspice and cloves, one stick of cinnamon and a piece of orange peel. Next you want to put this up on medium heat and allow it to come up to a simmer. Just gonna give it a mix and when you're using the dried sorrel you actually can use less it's more potent than the fresh sorrel okay after about five minutes of boiling you see how dark red that um water is that's because of the potency of that dried sorrel so what I'm going to do is just strain this out or if you guys want it to leave this to sit overnight you can if you wanted to use this for making sorrel drink you can use this you will need to dilute it because it's a very strong at this point so I will link the recipe for my sorrel drink for you guys at the end of this video so make sure and look out for that so let's move ahead and straining this when your sorrel has cooled down return it to your pot to this I'm going to add in the pectin I'm just going to mix that pectin in. Now I'm going to put up the stove on medium heat and bring this up to a simmer. If you can't find pectin, what I suggest you do is peel the lemon. Try not to get too much of the white part. You want to zest that lemon and you want to boil that rind and blend it up and then you would add it to this and that would help you create a jelly because the pectin is naturally found in citrus fruits but it's more potent in lemon and limes. When the sorrel comes up to a simmer, add in your sugar and you can add sugar to taste I like my jellies really sweet, so I'm adding a lot of sugar. And you just want to mix that in to dissolve. Now you just want to let this simmer for an additional 5 minutes, after which it will be ready. When your jelly is finished, you're going to strain it into a glass container. And I'm straining it so I can get those impurities that are floating to the top out of this jelly. And now all you have to do is wait for this to cool down and set and then the jelly would be ready. So guys, the jelly has set and I want to go in and show you guys what it looks like. I already toasted my bread. Can you guys see that beautiful ruby color? And you see how nice and delicate that jelly is. I know some of you will say, can I make this without the pectin? What can I substitute for the pectin? But to be honest with you guys, I would prefer if you would use the pectin. Try and get it, order it online. I'm gonna give this a taste. This jelly is so so tasty that I ate all that entire piece of toast. Guys, I can't wait for you all to try this recipe. It's so easy. Please get the pectin. Please try it. If you try it, let me know down below if you make it and tell me what you think. If you make this already, let me know how you make it if you do it differently. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Remember to hit the thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. Thank you all so much for watching 
and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! Thank you.